Hey guys, Mark from Gunplay Network here, and today I'm doing a quick tutorial on painting um, pilot and little figurines that you get with your kits or you can purchase um, as accessories. So I posted a couple of pictures recently in the group and a couple of people said, oh yeah, that'd be really good if you can show us how you did it. Um, I'm not amazing at this. Uh, I've just finished a couple recently and hopefully you're gonna be able to see this. Um, focus so that's a RG1144 Zex Marquis black boots white pants red shirt gold trimmings um, a metal color gunmetal on the helmet skin tone flesh on the face white hands uh, and then we go around to the back he's got blonde hair he's got a it's a black with a sky gray mixed into a cloak and the back of the pants legs there. So, um, camera is struggling because the figure is so goddamn tiny. But you get the idea. It's Zex Marquis. It's a fake Shah from Wing Gundam. That was one I finished recently. And the Gundam Mark II AU version. Um, I think the Titans comes a generic Titan person, but um, this is meant to be a uh, Camille uh, Bidden in his white uh, pilot suit that he wears for the majority of the series. Slight bit of um, metal color on the top and bottom of the helmet. On the right leg, the belt, um, and the backpack. There you go. Uh, and then on the... Um, helmet there's a bit of blue like the reflective um, glass that you kind of get so yeah the idea um, I mean I just kind of color wash them which makes them look a little dirty but uh, it depends how much you have so I just unbox the um, the RGL strike so why not start with a uh, Kiri Yamato um, figure that I had uh, so you can see he's standing there in his pilot suit holding his helmet He's pretty white at the moment. I mean, the Camille Bidden one came in a dark blue navy plastic. So you don't have to prime depending on what you're gonna use because I use, um, as you can see here in the background, I use enamel paints for uh, for my, my stuff. So uh, in doing that, enamel is corrosive to plastic. So you need to, um, primer it or flat coat and everything first so if I would say if you're using enamels like Tamiya enamels uh, enamel thinners like I did then you probably don't need to um, uh, you could just go to a flat or a clear coat and then run over it if it's white but if it's another color like he was dark blue and you want to change that um, to make it easier for yourself to see um, I would prime and I'm using a very fine 1200 grade primer there from Mr. Hobby. Um, but anything thin is fine and very sparingly lightly cover it guys. If you cover this thing just in a blob of paint, you're going to lose all that very fine detail that the kit has. Uh, things you'll need. So some primer, some paint. Now I use the Tamiya enamels for a few reasons readily available at my local hobby store. Um, these are 445 to 495 a pot. And um, as an example, I have had probably the gun metal the longest and I'm only uh, a quarter of the way through and that includes spilling some of this stuff, like a big spill. Um, and because you only paint fine details with it or a panel wash or something, like, you'll never go through this. It'll take me about five years, I reckon, to go through a pot. That's a dollar a year. So it's not that expensive. Um, and they came in a great range of colors. There's metals, flats, glosses, so many different types. Now, um, this is an example. I've got MIG odorless enamel thinner because you will need to wear a mask. Mm, if you're airbrushing the primer on like I will be, I wear a mask. Most of the time I can sit and just paint these and the smell isn't too bad because you're only doing such minute amounts. Uh, otherwise, there's no less thinner for a MIG that you can use. What I have found though is when I try to clean with that, um, 
it's not as because it's odorless i'm guessing they did something to the thinner it's not as potent um, otherwise enamel thinners uh your local cigarette stores um yeah like this was five six dollars um for a tin of it uh, otherwise zippo lighter fluid is another brand any lighter fluid um, is an enamel thinner so you can use that to thin down enamels on that note uh when you see these the tamiya um accent panel liners i've spilled this bottle a couple of times hence the dirtiness of it uh these are basically just thinned out versions of this so if you want to make your own panel line fluid um instead of buying this if you can't get access to it easily you can just take one of these two thinners thin down that and then use your brush to drop it into the um, panel lines so uh, i've got the colors um, on your booklet or find some reference material on the internet you'll get a um, instructional guide that says um, these ones uh, over to this side so I can't read Japanese but I know that that's a flesh tone which Tamiya do a flesh tone of for the facial features uh, the brown a white a light blue a different type of blue and a black um, and then what you'll do is you'll mix some of these together and if you translate the pictures there that's actually or oh, sorry translate the text that'll say it's 50% this 40% that I kind of eyeball it um, and just make my own version of it. But he's basically like a turquoise blue, black, white pilot suit. Um, so have some sort of reference materials there or your RG build guide, your paints, your figure, your thinners, primer if you need it. Um, you can pick these up, um, I mean, in hobby stores. Uh, these are, I think these are the Mr. Hobby ones. I picked up a pack of eight and I've only ever used two out of eight of them because I just keep them on my desk. Um, so they're pretty handy for mixing colors in, keeping some, um, you know, when you do panel lines and you've got to clean it off, you got to dip your cotton bud in somewhere, water, thinners, um, mixing in. Um, I use a bit of cardboard too, just to mix on because I can throw that away. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're quite handy to have um, to clean your brush into afterwards. Brushes. Now, uh, I just got these brand from my local hobby store, but any craft store, uh, anything like that will have brushes for you so um, I used to do it with the red one which is a 3 slash 0 but then I found a 0 brush which as you can see let's just compare them side by side is much much thinner and smaller you can paint with the 3 0 or the 2 0 or the 1 0 but the 0 brush is much much better for painting these little pilot uh, figurines so um, you'll also need something to hold it on i use a skewer with a bit of blue tack on the top and all i do is jam it down on the top and that's it and then i can touch it uh you know move it around spray whatever without touching the figure which is important Drying times will vary. If you use enamel, it can take up to six hours to dry. 12 sometimes, depending on the temperature of your place. The other thing I also have is um, toothpicks for mixing paints. You should never use your brush because you will ruin them very fast. Uh, paper towel for cleaning on. And that's about it, guys. That's what you need to do. So first up, I'm just going to mix up. Uh, it seems a bit of a waste, but I, I'm going to show you how to do it the way I do it. Um, tiny drop of that and prime that uh, and show you the figure all primed up okay guys i'm back again and let's just move that out of the way i it's been a couple hours i have let my um let's see if i can get a better shot of him there it's hard with the stick it's uh, slightly too long um, i'm here with my primed up figure some of the details are more visible now if he's got like a line down his shirt or the helmet or something like that so um, good coverage light coats and then just give it time to dry luckily it's pretty warm here so what we're going to do now we're going to take uh, accent liner or like I said you can just mix up the black with some of that and drip it down you really literally need a couple of drops so you give this a good shake Spill this on my 
backdrop because I've already got a couple of marks on here I'll have to wash out. So it looks a little bit black at the moment. I'll give that 10 minutes to dry and then all we need to do is wipe that clean and then we can see the lines that we need to paint in. Okay, so that should be about enough time. All I'm gonna do is grab a Q-tip. Yeah. I clean my ears with these. So, you know, I guess you would find those in a chemist, pharmacy, supermarket, grocery store, anything like that. They're quite cheap. I usually keep like a 400 set of box just sitting so I can use them for a low cleaning with enamels panel line wash stuff like that. I've got my panel lined uh, Kiri Yamato figure here. So all I'm gonna do is take some of this uh, clean fluid, put a drop in there, rub it around in there, get the Q-tip in. Uh, okay. Then all I want you to do is take it so it's not soaking wet and just give it a light rub because this stuff will eat the plastic pretty badly. Okay, so all we're gonna do now is um, do some cleaning up and down. We're not removing all of it. All we're doing is um, just getting off the majority, you know, that's pulled up in areas. So the sides of the legs, roll it around. So, a little bit of cleaning. Yeah, sorry guys, this focus is really hard to do. Um, so you can see, as it comes and goes out of focus there, unfortunately, oops. Uh, you've got like more of the details are now highlighted. Um, I can clearly see certain things. What I will say is if you have a, um, a magnifying glass like I have, when I show you how to paint, that'll be helpful. Um, I've just now got to work out how to get my camera to aim down while I'm doing that and I can check that I can see what I'm doing. So, all right, let's uh, let's get some paint out and have a crack. Okay, so, sorry, here you can see the, like, the corner of my workbench. Um, I just have to get beside the laptop. I can't be behind it while I'm filming this. So, um, as you can see, this is my uh, magnifying um, stand. Uh, I reviewed earlier in the year or late last year and it's a brilliant piece of kit guys particularly for this kind of work where you can hold this here it's got a built-in um, LED light under it and it helps magnify what you're doing so I'll try and keep steady on um, what I'm doing here um, but it gives me a little bit of extra magnification um, while I'm painting and hopefully that'll be helpful to you guys. Um, I think you can get this like eBay, um, maybe Canadian Gundam um, and Robo City may or may not carry them or probably get them in um, for you, but it's a very handy tool to, uh, to have. So maybe invest in one of these if you're gonna be painting these tiny figures. So all I'm gonna do first up is I'm gonna take um, the XF2 uh, basically, um, the bulk of this guy's suit is his pilot suit down the center back and front is white, um, as well as the helmet. So it's handy if you paint the lighter colors first because the darker will always override it. So um, with enamels, oh, I don't know if you'll be able to hear it. Um, you've got to give them a really, really good shake because they will seize up. I bought, um, it's actually funny, makeup products are really closely related to what you need for hoppy products. Uh, China, eBay, for like a dollar I got like 30 little metal ball bearings that you put in um, nail polish to shake them up. And same principle here, if you've got little jars of paint that you use, um, I use it for all my lacquers, everything. As soon as I get a new paint, I drop a ball in it. And um, that when you're shaking it, it comes loose and it helps agitate the paint. You can buy uh, a little paint shaker I've um, I've seen and heard of, but the problem is everyone also says it doesn't last very long um, for your hobby paint. So um, up to you guys, what you want to do? There you, go. you should be able to hear that. 
once the ball bearing starts moving around give it a little shake okay now um, people might say you really need to thin these um, but what I do is once you've shaken it up a little and got the paint out and around just inside the lid there most of the time that's all you need now I'll use the bigger brush for this one because I am covering basically except his head the whole thing so just get some on your brush So, uh, yeah, enamel will take a really long time to dry. I mean, I'm lucky my hobby room, with the exception of nighttime, is really warm during the day, so that'll help. Um, but, I mean, yeah, it's still, it's going to take a while to, um, to dry. It took me a couple of days to do those little figures in, in touch-ups because... Basically, the rule of thumb is you apply a little paint, wait, go back to you know building whatever else you want to do, and then come back. Okay, that's dry enough to just touch dry. It's not fully dry, though. When these do dry, it's almost it's what they use on nails, so it's barely yeah you know, barely scratchable type stuff. It's it's really tough. I mean, you don't really need that. You could use acrylics for these figures, but um, it's nice to just have these. That's all I'm going to do for the moment. I will have to redo some white again once this is um, somewhat dried. Um, yeah. All right, we'll come back. Hey guys, back with the uh, the white figure which is dried now and kind of hard for you to tell, um, but it has um, dried pretty much. Uh, I've left this uh, quite a few hours now um, between. I'm not filming this all in succinct, you know, kind of videos it's just um stringing it all together for you so uh he's looking not too bad i can still see some of the details um yeah he's white now and uh what we're going to do i'm just going to put a, a drop of the uh, xf15 tamiya flat flesh on the face part and then i'm going to move on and we'll do the black and then i'll leave that to dry a bit before i do the blue over the um the arms That's that one. Now, next up, we're gonna do the, it's actually not, uh, we're re-watching the anime, yes, yeah, so it's actually not really a just a black, it's more of a mm, lighter black gray on the suit. So I'm gonna take a bit of the, um, just a drop of the XF flat black or a couple of drops, and then maybe I've got a sky gray. That's the only gray I've got. Um, I could use white, but then I'll end up with more of a gray. So I'm just gonna drop a gray to the black and see how we go on the, Okay, so we've got the white down the middle, black in the middle, and black kind of on the back of the arms, black on the sides. Now, the next color we'll do will be a blue-white, and I've got to try and work out what it is to make that. Uh, it's a bluey green almost um, color, and I think I went a bit KO'd on the backpack, so I might try and just rub that off a bit. Um, blew up the sides of the arms over. Paint that. White gloves. Okay. Okay guys, sorry, I've had a mishap with the recording. I thought I was recording and I started painting. Um, so, you can see I've got some bluey green down here. Now all I did was I took, according to the paint guide, 
These aren't the exact blues. The blue, they'll give you named blues like Daytona Green, Indy Blue, Off-White. I didn't have all of those in the enamels that I used. So all I did was I took uh, a bright green, because that's what Daytona Green looks like, a, a fluoro kind of green. Uh, Indy Blue, blue. I just had a blue, so I used XF4 Flat Blue and Flat White. So it was 60%, 30%, 10%. So all I did was I took a big drop of blue in my jar using toothpicks, uh, a smaller drop of white, and then a touch of green and mixed it all together. And if you've ever seen seed, that's pretty much the closest you're gonna get to, to recreating that. Hence my figure now. There you go. Um, tops of the boots, sides of the arms, tops of the shoulders and a touch on the helmet front and back. Um, he's looking a lot like Kiri Yamato. So the only thing is I have actually messed up and gone a bit too far in on the um, the chest area. So I'll just retouch that up with some flat white when that's dried. Um, so yeah, that's, that's looking even through my magnifying glass now, that's looking a hell of a lot like Kira. So that is it. Now I've I've actually gone across, um, connected the back of the shoulders like across the middle to give it a bit more colour. Um, it just it seemed a bit too plain. Uh, hands you can leave white. Um, I probably will just touch more. Back of the helmet. Drop down the middle, front of the helmet has a touch. And there we go, that's pretty much it. So I'll leave that there for the tutorial guys. All you need to do is just flat coat that again. Um, I mean, you don't even need to. Enamel paints, if you're using those, are damn strong once they're set. Nothing's breaking them, that's what they use on nails. Um, you, like Zex here, um, I flat coated him and then I used a touch of the panel wash again to like define out the hair strands and legs and stuff. I mean, Kira is pretty well defined looking at him like this, so you don't actually need to. Keep in mind though, if you panel wash uh, over the top, you will end up with it looking slightly dirty. That probably won't come 100% clean. Um, same as my Camille Bidden figure here, I, I flat coated and panel washed him to give it some definition. Um, particularly the wide areas, it'll define those up pretty nicely. So. Alright guys, thanks very much for watching the tutorial. We love bringing them to you here on Gunplay Network. So, as always, have fun building and enjoy.